turns out that scientists have found a way to genetically modify fish, salmon to be specific, so they grow two times faster. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. So yes. bigger, faster salmon. Bigger, faster, badder, meaner, greener salmon. Okay. So um, the FDA earlier this week listened to the scientists to determine whether or not they should approve this genetically modified salmon, right? Mm -hmm. The FDA has not reached a decision yet, but I think that this is a disaster hmm. in, in a million different ways. But anyway, we have a video that explains this a little better than I just did. So let's go to the video and then we'll discuss whether or not we're interested in eating genetically modified salmon. It looks like any other salmon, but opponents call it frankenfish and hope to keep it off your dinner plate. Here's the difference. Both these fish are 18 months old, but the larger genetically engineered Aqua Advantage salmon grows twice as fast as the regular salmon. Booyah. This is the first genetically engineered animal that would be introduced to the food supply. So it's a big deal. Atlantic salmon grows in fits and starts, but scientists found that adding genetic material from a Pacific salmon and an eel-like fish helps them grow round the clock. This fish is indistinguishable from the traditional foods. How can you say it's indistinguishable, though, when it clearly has a different genetic makeup than an Atlantic salmon? But it tastes the same, it looks the same, and the biology is exactly the same. FDA uh, no, scientists the biology. agree. Exactly. Aqua Advantage salmon is Atlantic salmon, and food from Aqua Advantage salmon is as safe as food from other Atlantic salmon. Still, critics claim more argument. studies are needed on how the fish might affect humans and the environment. For instance, what happens if these altered fish somehow make it out into the wild? Would they breed with native salmon? Would they crowd out the wild fish? The company insists there are safeguards. They're all sterile and they're raised in physically contained facilities. But opponents say there's no guarantee all the fish will be sterile. And there's already one case study in how the best laid plans can go awry. Canola plants used to make canola oil were genetically engineered to be resistant to weed killer. The problem, their seeds have now migrated from the company farms, carried by the wind and perhaps by trucks taking them to market. They're now growing on the roadsides of North Dakota. Scientists worry they may create a hard-to-kill superweed. As for the genetically altered salmon, one question still on the table, will folks eat it? And will they even know what they're eating? Because the FDA has to decide if the fish will even carry a special label. Lisa Stark, ABC News. Well, that's Hell very, no. that's Hell very no. interesting. No, if, if I'm going to eat genetically modified fish, I want to know it. The, the fact that the FDA does not regulate it so people will know what they're eating is unacceptable. Okay? I think genetically modifying the fish is a terrible idea. We're eating enough crap already. Okay? Well, you're, I, you're a lot stronger on it than I am. I mean, there could be upsides, too. I don't want eel genes in my salmon. Look, it's that simple. I want salmon. I want salmon. I don't, I, simple, easy, wild, goddamn salmon. She wants some goddamn salmon, okay? <laughs> so you're very clear on the record on yes. this. Look, uh, but sometimes scientists come up with breakthroughs, and that allows to pe uh, us to feed more people. Right? Mm -hmm. We help solve poverty in a lot of parts of the world by genetically modifying pl uh, plants to grow more, right? uh, in, whether it's wheat or whatever it might be. Right? So there could be an upside to this, uh, he, but we need significant uh, checks on this. Right? So that's my point of view on it. So uh, am I out of hand against it? No, I'm not. Right? And it could be interesting. Mm -hmm. But do I believe the company when it says they're biologically no different? That doesn't make any sense. Right. They're obviously biologically different. You put the eel thing into it, it grows twice as large. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's biologically different. So don't trust the company. That's crazy talk to trust the company. Right? And they say, oh, don't worry, we got safeguards. Uh, yeah, most of them are sterile. Uh, okay. <laughs> and by the way, how are they not biologically different if they're sterile? Right. Uh, no, they'll never make it out of their tanks. Don't worry. No, I'm not. I, it's uh, nonsense. Nonsense. So let's see what the FDA says about it. Let's hope the FDA is not bought, mm -hmm. you know, and that they are, actually do their job. And, and, and if they come up and say, look, no, it really is safe, then I'm having a different conversation. I have an open mind to it. Right. Okay, fine. If they do determine that it's safe, then I demand that they label a s fish that is genetically altered. That's fair okay, I, I, I think that people should at least know what they're eating. I, I will strike that deal with you. Okay. okay? I, and, but, and now here's the other thing I'll demand. Okay, look, if we're creating these monster salmon, let's at least feed some people with it. 
Right. No, you know? I agree, but that's not going to happen. Right. Also, like, yeah, no, of course not. What was I thinking? Right. right. And look, another thing is, if this is safe for humans to consume, mm -hmm. how do we know that? Like, has there been testing done on this for a number of years where people have been consuming this and we know that it's not going to do any damage to our health? Of course not. No, no, no. We'll do it the American way. We'll introduce it into the market and then see what happens 15 years later. And then people are going to grow at <laughs> double the rate that they're growing now in width. Right. And, and then, then they're we'll going to be up. like, what? what? Why are Americans getting fatter? What's yeah. That? We'll be like, hey, how did the country get so obese? Why do all the frogs have seven legs? Ah, don't worry about it. Okay. That's probably how it'll go. We're keeping it real here. Okay. By the way, uh, I can't wait for them to do this. Now, they already do it in a lot of ways to other food products, mm -hmm. right? But they will eventually do it. Like, and they genetically modify cows already. Believe me, I know that, right? Mm -hmm. But they probably create monster cows. <laughs> Like these, like, what? Sick dude! Look at that fucking cow! It'll be like the size of a factory. Because they want to make it efficient. And then they just come and do that old tip it over. Like they tip the cow over and then everybody just comes and eats it. Like, feeds the whole country. <laughs> it's going in that direction. They're like, we took the cow genes and we mm -hmm. inserted some whale genes, though it's biologically the same. <laughs> and then we took transformer genes and put it in there, right? And so at the end, it, it's, the cow gets so large, it explodes, but when it does, hamburgers rain down. <laughs> but what? It's perfectly safe. And it's biologically the same as any other cow. <laughs> biologically the same.